times like these by the Foo Fighters, the signature riff, we have this. <laughs> I noticed on a video that I was watching them live on Letterman, the guitar players were playing that with alternate picking. Uh, the eighth and final time that they play that riff, there's a slide at the end. takes us into the verse. Now, the first chord of the verse is a D chord, and I'm strumming five strings here. My thumb is uh, resting gently against the sixth string, muting it, and that way I can freely strum. The strumming is one and two and and four and or down up down up up down up down up down up up down up. Okay, the next chord is an A minor seven. You form an A minor chord. You add your pinky to the first string third fret, and you can play that same strumming pattern: down up down up up down up for two measures. Next move is move just your third finger over to the fifth string, third fret, and you have a C chord. My third finger is resting against the side of the sixth string, deadening the sixth string so I can freely strum down, up, down, up, up, down, up. The next chord is an E minor seven, first finger on the fifth string, second fret, second finger on the fourth string, second fret and your fourth finger on the second string, third fret, and you'll play down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Just one measure. And then move over to the signature riff. And then you'll play through the verse a second time, and this time you'll play the signature riff twice. That takes us over to the chorus, and the first chord of the chorus is a C chord. And I notice Dave Grohl uh, plays this C with his fourth finger on the first string, third fret. So you can, we're in 4-4 four, four time, you can play 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... And then over to E minor 7, the same chord that we saw earlier. And two and three and four and or down up down up down up down up and then D one and two and three and four and now you could throw in random open strings on the last upward strum before each new chord for example Play that progression C, E minor 7, D, three times in a row, and then play C, E minor 7, At the end of the first chorus, you'll play riff A two times. Okay, at that point, go back to verse number two, play that, play the second chorus. And once you play the last measure, once you come across the last measure of the chorus, substitute riff A for... Right there I was playing the riff with uh, downward picking strokes. Of course you can play with alternate picking if you prefer. Play that riff uh, eight times. Let's consider this one round. Play that for 11 rounds, and then the last round, there's that slide. Okay, so that's 12 rounds, and then you can switch to a heavier distortion sound. 
Well, that's one with the slide, so uh, let's try that again. Three measure figure the chorus C, E minor 7, D, and you'll play that eight times in a row. And that's about uh, as far as we're going to get today. Part three coming up next week.